Hello VC, it's Steve Whitty here um, with another video. This is a recent finds volume 90 and this is what I brought when I did the VC meetup in Manchester at the record fair. Um, great day, um, really enjoyed enjoyed the company of, of, of everybody, um, James, Headley, Chris, Martin, John, um, just a great day, just a great day, just, just Guys just meeting up, ch chatting about music, records, having a sink in a few pints, just chewing the fat in, in general. Great, I think you've seen James's video. Really was a good day. I'm um, looking forward to the next meetup. Now, c c some of the comments have been coming out. Well, you haven't shown what you've uh, purchased, and some saying, well, you've brought a few, fair few. Um, looking forward to see it. So, this video is really about showing you what I purchased. Now, let me um, so first start off by saying I arrived into Manchester about nine o'clock. I caught the coach at seven seven a.m. and got into Manchester. I just thought it'd just be easier to get there. I think if I caught, caught a late coach at nine o'clock, I'd have probably not got into Manchester at about twelve o'clock. So. That was the reason I came in early. So, found the venue, stopped off by the nearest um, Starbucks and had a coffee. Um, and just before ten o'clock, I thought I'd make me way in. I said I'd meet the guys in the actual venue itself in the hotel. And I thought I'd have to queue to wait in. Where it was bitterly cold, cold and cold and wet. So, the guy said, "Yeah, you can come and pay you three pound. Come in." So, I think I was. It'd be about half an hour before I bumped into Chris, so it gave me a chance to have a little bit of a mooch round. And you guys know that I'm into my cheap records, um, so I was um, sort of checking out what was in the boxes like three for a tenner, two quid records. And I got myself pretty much all I'd set myself a budget, took a wad of cash with me, and I stuck to that and didn't get anything else. I think the most I paid on the day was five pounds. Um, so this could be a long video so without further ado let's um, start off and show you the first record so first one is Beachy's Horizontal which is there from 1968 so it's an album that's hitting 50 years old um, I think this month um, the band's fourth album the second international album and probably the best known song on here is Mass Massachusetts. It's a Polydor um, Stern music, so it's a German press in this. Um, so I played that, really pleased to find that. Had a comment on the uh, when I should put the photo on Facebook, um, the, back, the Black Crows, and this is what I purchased. I've got no Black Crows on vinyl, but I saw this. Um, 12 inch single, the debut single actually, Jealous Again, she talks to angels, both acoustic versions, and then on the B side, you've got um, Waiting, Waiting, I'm sorry, Waiting Guilty and Strutting Blues. There we go, and here you've got the crow there looking like Robert Johnson. Next record I purchased um, is a comp, A History of Eric Clapton and this was released in 1972 and this i had showed you a few a couple of months back uh another captain uh, eric clapton compilation that rso released in 1973. this one was released on polydor and this sort of focuses more on some yardbirds um cream um some blind, blind faith and some delaney and bonnie on there and it features the last for it, five four um, stuff from Layla. Now it was around this time that Eric Clapton was suffering from his um, heroin addiction, and it was sort of this album was released to, to remind people that he was still around. And it was at this point that they released Layla as a single, and became a top ten single. Um, obviously, been released a few a few times. Probably becomes Clapton's best known track, though at the time it was sort of ignored. Next, uh, it's the Costello Show, King of America. Um, 
This came out in 1986 on FB. It's Costello's 10th album. It features the attractions and the Confederates, and it's co-produced with T-Bone Burnett, I think the first album he produced with it. I've cleaned this up. It needs a bit more of a clean, um, probably a bit of disappointing in the condition. Maybe I should double-check the condition a bit more, especially as the guy who was selling it had another copy as well, but hey. You know, and he paid a couple of quid for it. So I'm going to give it another clean, give it another go, and see if I can salvage some of it. But I liked what I listened to. Um, just It just sounded a bit rough. Something that James showed a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of videos ago in his um, hilarious um, covers. And this is Andy Fairweather Lowe's La Booga from 1975. This is his second solo album. And it contains his big hit, Wide Eyed and Legless, which was his... Um, Biggest uh, single. Um, there's the guy released on A and M, and as probably James explained, it was the lead singer of Amen Corner, who were quite popular in the late uh, '60s. Gone on to play with Clapton. He was, he, he was featured on the Clapton's Unplugged album. Um, so happy to have that in good condition. Cover another album you know, having good condition. This is Focus Focus Free double album. Um, Features the hit Sylvia. Now, it's reached uh, number six in the UK and 35 in the US album charts. Um, Focus appeared on the old grey whistle test at the time, and such was the response to to their appearance that um, Polydor, for some reason, has spent only pre pressed Focus Free and um, Hocus Pocus it was, um, and Sylvia. So they had a big leg up from that side. They became popular there. Still going. From 1967, Alice's Restaurant. This is uh, the album that helped spawn the film. The title track is The Massacre, The Alice Restaurant's Massacre. Oh, get this back in. And it's sort of lampoons the Viet Vietnam War draft. And whether it was more anti it was anti war or not, well actually Oligraphy stated that it wasn't anti so much anti war, it was more anti stupidity, the stupidity about going to war in the first place. Um so that's that. Excuse me while well, I take a bit of a my whole throat's drying up a little bit. Better. Oh. Really pleased to find this for a couple of quid. This is Joe Jackson's Jumping Jive. Um, released least in 1981. It's it's covers basically, if you don't know what it's about, it's a covers of 40 swing and jump blue songs, really featured mainly Louis Jordan, Cab Calloway uh, numbers. Really caused a big stir. Um, the title track Jumping Jive almost became a top 40 hit in the UK. The album itself reached number 14 in the UK. And number 42 in the US. So. Album up again picked up for a couple of pounds in really good, excellent condition. This is the Motors and this is their album Tenement Steps, their third and final album. Produced by Jimmy Irvine. I uh, know James Griffiths has mentioned about this when he's Andy McMaster video. Um, he didn't chart in the UK. It reached 194 in the US. By this time, the motors had only been pared down to Andy McMaster and Guy and um, Nick Garvey. And if I remember, I haven't played this yet, but I do remember Love and Loneliness being a slightly bit overblown. Um, so i will be interesting to give this a listen, see what uh, see what, what I think. It's nice, uh, Five Bridges. This is a Charisma reissue. Um, the album originally came out in 1970, reached number two in the UK. Um, this is written for the, the Newcastle, for about Newcastle upon Time. Um, somebody uh, area that uh, Chris knows. Um, it was featured for the far uh, for the Arts Festival and it was premiered on the 10th of October 1969. 
The album that's come appears on the the version that appears on the album was recorded on the 17th of October at the Croydon Fairfield Halls. As I said, this was the band's last uh, last album. Um, just after it was released, um, Keith Emerson split the band up um, in order to form Emerson Lake and Palmer. Carrying on with the nice, I have found a nice greatest hits. Um, this is on the immediate. Well, it's licensed to be appear on the immediate um, label. On NEMS immediate. This came out in 1977. So on here, you've got it focused quite a lot on the on the like the first album. Um, so you've got um, America, which was controversial enough. Um, it led um, Leonard Bernstein never never really liked that version. Um, You've got Hang On To A Dream by the Tim Harding song. And then you've got stuff by Sir Bailey's Intermezzo from Carella Sweet. The Thoughts of Emilis Dav Jack, title track with their debut album. The Diamond Hard Apples of the Moon. Cry of Eugene, Rondo. This sort of really does feature heavily more on the debut album rather than anything. But I'm happy to have some nice in my collection. I've got plenty of Emerson Lake and Palmer. Still I Span, and this is Parcel of Rogues. This came out in 1973, and this is probably the f their first top 30 album. The reason I've got it, because there's this track on here called Alison Gross. Um, it's basically a witch, it's a traditional song about a witch who tries to woo him a, a man uh, who spurn, who he who de in turn spurns her advances and then act of revenge turns him into a worm really so it just builds up great it's just a great song uh, so more to my spit still i span collection one album i got for three pound really as pleased it's still i span uh, st <laughs> let's start again Album I've got really pleased to pick up Steely Dan's Can't Can't Buy a Thrill debut album. Um, this is a this is a, I think a repressing on the ABC la label. Um, well, you know the uh, two main songs on here, Do It Again and Reeling in the Years. Um, I can't really say more than that. Just uh, just a classic album. This is when they were were a band, a proper unit, and they took the toured, and yeah, really. Just a great, great album. Steve Gibbons Band, and this is their Rolling On album. This is the second album, and it features the hit single Tulane, which is the Chuck Berry song. Um, mentioned it when I showed the live album as VCLT from, from Graham Crackling Vinyl. Um, yeah, what a local hero Steve Gibbons is. He's still going, he's about 75 now. Um, and how big they, they were managed by the Who's management, uh, did several tours. They re really were an excellent live band. Um, so I'm really pleased to have, have that at this album. Sticks, the Grand Illusion, probably um, their biggest one of their big albums, seventh album. Um, rock to number six in the US charts. Probably the best known track on here is Come Sail Away, which was a top 10 single for them in the US. Though I have difficulty listening to this, can I only think of Eric Cartman and his version. That's, and that was the first time I heard that song. Didn't realise who it was by. Todd Rungren's Utopia. This is apps another live their second album but first live album this came out in 1975 reached number 666 in the US charts side one is a bit of a funny album because side one features songs that had never been previously released and then side two was more to do with um, a mixture of cover versions so a bit of a strange concept for a live album on the Bearsville record label this was probably the most expensive record I pay the one I paid five pound for. This is Remember the Yardbirds. This is a, uh, it came out on the Starline label, sort of their budget label. Came out in nineteen seventy. 
So, and it basically is the, the hits. A heart full of soul for your love. Um, eat, uh, eat good morning, little schoolgirl, for your love. As I've mentioned, a shape of things. Still, I'm sad. Um, yeah, just a good... I haven't got any uh, uh, Yardbirds on vinyl, so this was a good little find for me there. And finally, it's a Decca compilation. It's called the Decca Originals, Volume 2, 1965 to 1969. So on here, you've got Eamon Cor Corner, Ben, ben Mishak, me going back to Andy Fairweather Low, Honeybus, I can't get that, Maggie Go, Berry, Little Things, Them, Here Comes the Night, the Casuals, Jezamine, apps that is a classic pop song. But, uh, I do love that. Pinkerton's Assorted Colour, Mirror and Mirror. The Fortunes, you've got you, you've got your troubles with another Birmingham band. Side two, Small Faces, All or Nothing. Marion Faithful, Come and Stay with Me. Warm Sounds, uh, Birds and Bees. Billy Fury in Fort to You. Cat Stevens, Matthew and Son. Lulu, Live a, Live a Little Love, and Chris Andrews, Yesterday Man. So. A great little comp there. Uh, again, it only cost me a couple of pounds. So overall, I spend my budget. I did also trick knowing how to clean rack and get some new cleaner. And by God, it's the nearest the thing I've ever got to sniffing glue. So I don't know about cleaning records. It strips all paper as well. So that was what I brought while I was in Manchester. But the day wasn't about buying records. It was actually about been with good company and I know James in his videos said that you know if you get the chance to meet up with people from the on the VC do it and I would echo those sentiments because it's just great to actually just interact with people it's great on online it's a great community the VC YouTube Facebook we show up what we are playing we'll get comments thumbs up thumbs down um, but that's but actually meeting up is just just my it's just the cherry on the cake uh, if you say to speak so really thank you to the guys uh, to making it such a great day if you've stumbled across my channel and you like what you see feel free to click and subscribe it's only had a bit of a run on subscribers and now up to 155 so all looking good on there thumbs up thumbs down i do like the interaction feel free to comment i will get back to you and will endeavor to get back to you i think i owe a comment to somebody so vc this is a bit longer than normal but Thank you, thank you, thank you again to the guys for the for, for just being excellent company on the day, and thank you for watching. So keep spinning, keep and more importantly keep smiling.